Murals by Gardner proudly presents <coughs> The Hand-Painted Llama Shed. In this video, we take the normal, ordinary storage shed and transform it into a barn, complete with two llamas, a French door that's open on the side here, and some equipment inside, such as a lantern and a llama halter hanging on the beams. These are the pictures the client gave me to work from. A couple of pictures of llamas and the barn doors open there. And uh, so as always, we start by creating what I call a cartoon, a pencil drawing of the images that I want to work from. And so I quickly draw out a rough sketch in the area that is going to be the open barn door for the animals. Once the sketch is drawn out, Grab the paintbrush, paint in the background first, and have fun like a kid with a coloring book. By spraying a light black pattern on the lower side of the tape, I create the illusion of shadowing. And after shadowing the box, shadowing the X, pull off the tape, and voila, we have a classic barn door. <laughs> Meanwhile, back at the llamas, I begin to paint the first llama in. He's going to end up being a grayish white llama, and the other one is going to end up being a tan or brown llama. So I begin with a nice fat brush and fill in the basic background color of gray. Give it a darker gray nose and a little bit darker gray mouth, a little bit of a shape for an eye, and we have ourselves a friendly looking llama. Using the airbrush and the straight edge, I cut a shadowing effect on it, just highlighting areas or shadowing areas and creating that sense of roundness and depth. And now we have a cool little gray llama. On with the brown one.
love to use the airbrush to create that shadowing effect, the softness, the curves, and the warmth. It's a tool that allows me to work quickly on a textured surface, and it just brings things to life. Add a few details on the nuts and bolts that hold the door together, and... Wow, we've created this from this. And now it's time to move on to the side. We're going to paint a French door with the upper half open and the interior of the barn being visible with the beams and some lanterns and things hanging on the beams. We start by painting the entire door brown. Tape off the door as if it were open in the shape that it would be. And I begin to paint it gray. Set it aside or set it apart from the white background of the original paint on the shed. When I'm done with that, I add some doorknob and some hinges and we have the basic French door. Now I tape off the beams that would be visible inside the barn by using one inch tape. Take some black paint and airbrush in the shadowing next to each taped off beam. And when I remove the tape, I have the illusion of the beams inside a dark barn. Add a bit of shadowing to darken the areas, a little bit around the doorknob, a little lock, some on top of the hinges, hang up a lantern and the llama halter, and there we have a llama barn from this to that. Thank you.